What's up, family? NBC has announced that Matt Lauer has been fired for inappropriate sexual behavior. The incident in question, 2014 at the Sochi Olympics. The victim says that Matt Lauer sexually assaulted her. Here's what Chairman Andy Lack of NBC had to say. We were also presented with reason to believe this may not have been an isolated incident. Now, one of his co-workers, Savannah Guthrie, said this in tears. This is a sad morning here at Today and NBC News. We learned this moments ago, just this morning. As you can imagine, we are devastated and we are still processing all of this. For the moment, all we can say is we are heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for Matt. He is my dear, dear friend and my partner and he is beloved by many, many people here. And I'm heartbroken for the brave colleague that came forward to tell her story and any other women who have their own stories to tell. We are grappling with a dilemma that so many people have faced these weeks. How do you reconcile your love for someone with the recognition that they have behaved badly? And I don't know the answer to that. Al Rucker also was pretty shaken up behind all of this. Now, this dude, he he makes a lot of money. I mean, $25 million a year to sit on a couch and just talk. That's the kind of bread he made. $25 million. Here's the deal, y'all. This woman, uh, Savannah, she, she kind of rubbed me the wrong way. She's a little too damn emotional about dude. I mean, at this point, it ain't about dude. It's about the victims. She's like want to let, let everybody know, reiterate that, you know, he's loved by many, many people here. She's trying to play both sides of the fence. I don't know if that works, man. In fact, I know it don't work. It don't work for me. I'm cool with picking a side. You do this, this is what happens. You violate mine, I violate you. I ain't got time to be figuring out what you really mean or trying to find some redeemable qualities in you and all of that stuff. Man, you do this, you get this. And that's how I've lived my life, man. Everything that I've ever been done, well, that I've ever done and got punished for, I was able to accept my punishment. I may not have wanted to be punished at that time, but I was able to accept my punishment. And I can tell you for a fact that each time that I was wrong and I was punished for it in any medium, whether it was criminal or personal in my personal life. It actually made me a better person. So I have no problem with accepting responsibility myself, but I don't like it when other people don't try to, you know, accept responsibility for their actions. I don't like that. Oh, girl seemed a whole, just a little too relaxed. Now y'all know NBC has known for a long time that Matt Lauer was a sexual predator. He's made a number of inappropriate comments just on television, on the Today Show. He's made a number of inappropriate sexual comments, but it was just kind of like chuckled off. I'm not surprised. And you know they must have some heavy evidence on him to not suspend him, straight up termination, no talking, no discussing with the lawyers, nothing, because dude is well connected. 
anytime you're making $25 million a year, you're pretty connected. So he has the resources to fight. And if they were wrong, if he was wronged, you know he would come after him, after them, and they would have to know that a big lawsuit would be imminent. So they had to have him all the way to the left for him to just tuck his tail and walk off. I mean, it has to be pretty heavy. And like they said, we have reason to believe that this is not an isolated incident. You know, NBC are the same people who try to suppress the evidence on Harvey Weinstein. You know, that was a story that they were trying to put out back in the day. And the heads over there, the bosses over there, they suppressed the story, made sure it didn't come out. So they're doing what all of the other studios and networks are doing right now. They're covering their ass. They don't care about women. They don't care about sexual assault. The woman who's sitting up down at, on national television uh, crying, she don't care too much about women her damn self. It's like the women who voted for Donald Trump knowing that he was a sexual predator. They voted for him anyway. So they jeopardized their security to vote for a dude who they knew was a sexual predator. It's no coincidence that all of these cases are, are coming out during the Trump's administration. That's not a coincidence. It adds up perfectly. You got a president that's a sexual predator. And all of these cases, we're talking hundreds of cases are coming out. We're about to get into the thousands if we're not already there. This is a culture. America has a rape culture. This is a rape culture. Let's stop pretending that this is some nice, wholesome society. America is a rape culture. America is a violent culture. And with all of the violence that goes on in America, it's not that surprising that it is a rape culture because it kind of go together. Violence and people who are violent, they violate everything. It's not just, a, you know, violent in terms of, you know, hurting somebody, you know, physically in a fight or a gun battle or something. No, man, it, it, it's a mentality that go with that. A lot of people who are violent has no problem violating others in any kind of way. This is the America that we live in. Let's stop front. Let's stop faking. And let's start looking at this seriously. Matt Lauer always came off as a little pompous creep to me. There was always something just a little off about him. I'm sure Ann Curry is dancing in the streets right now because... I'm almost positive he had something to do with her firing. When they fired her as his co-host, he didn't stand up for her. He didn't ride for her. Told me that he had something to do with it. He was on the inside of decision making. Let's see, y'all. Everybody going down. We got the actors going down. We got, we got film. We got executives in Hollywood, we got, do we got music, music moguls yet? Have any music moguls went down yet? Well, throughout history, music moguls have always went down from time to time. Let's see, um, you got politicians. Next, the next anthill to get kicked over will probably be academia. You see, America's colleges and universities, they are hotbeds for sexual harassment because 
These professors just can't seem to keep their hands off the talent. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?